let's discuss the difference between a foot with a C on it and a foot with a D on it. We're working with the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition, and with this machine, you actually have your standard presser foot twice in this machine. And people always ask, well, which one do I use, and why is one a C and why is one a D? So the C is considered a coated foot, and a coated foot is a foot that has the full width of nine millimeters wide that the machine can stitch. If the machine doesn't see a coated foot, it will automatically narrow the stitch width down to be 5.5 millimeters or less, so not to break the needle. People ask me that too, it's like, how does the machine know what foot I have on? Well, it doesn't really know what foot it has on specifically, but it can tell how wide of a stitch area it has. So a C foot is coated foot, and that will stitch nine millimeters, but a D foot, this is new for our Bernina machines, a D foot, you're gonna notice, has this big open space behind the foot there. So when you actually put it on, you're gonna notice that you've got kind of this big empty gap back here. D stands for dual feed. So dual feed means reaching behind your machine, my hand's about halfway up, and pulling down the dual feed and engaging it. That fills in the gap in the back. That's like having an extra set of feet dogs on the top of your fabric to help pull in those fabrics that kind of come out a little wavy or start to slip and slide, like especially if you're working on minky fabric or fleece, even flannel has a little stretch and you're like, gosh, I feel like I really need a walking foot. Well, you have it built on board. So when you actually put that foot on, make sure you pull this down. Make sure if you're using any foot with a D on it, that the dual feet is engaged. Otherwise, now you have a foot with a very loosey goosey back end and nothing is really being stitched very well. You'll notice your stitch quality is, is very low. Your fabric is kind of floating all over the place. It's actually not good. So whenever I see students without their dual feed pulled down in here, I always kind of go, oh, don't forget, pull that down and in place whenever you use a D foot. Now, if you do take that foot off, you do want to make sure that you disengage that before trying to put a regular non-D foot on because that, of course, is not going to work well at all. So just FYI, Make sure you are using the right foot at the right time. Anytime you have fabric that's a little wiggly, squiggly, definitely put on the D foot. If you're doing any work with batting, that's another place that I will use this. But if I'm just doing normal stitching, I will put on my one C foot for most of my standard stitching.